who's trying to shop? Anybody? Anybody trying to shop? Microsoft is shopping, and they got money money, so they shopping shopping. <laughs> What up everybody, welcome to the channel. I am your host Mike Fury and I make informative videos just like this one So please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content And if you want to join the family, Patreon's down in the description below But with that being said guys, here are five video game studios that Microsoft should definitely buy Two quick things, a disclaimer and a honorable mention Let's not dream here people Let's not think, yes, Microsoft got money money But Microsoft ain't offering everything every stock they have to buy take two or to get a rock star or like come on let's be a little bit more realistic and finally as honorable mentions two places shall not be mentioned number one being warner brothers catalog warner brothers was already tied to microsoft earlier in the year when they were trying to offer up basically everything in their video game section they would basically give up you know small games like uh mortal kombat an injustice, you know, Hitman, a small game in franchises, and secondly, Sega. Sega has been making its rounds lately, according to what a lot of people are saying. Microsoft is interested in getting Sega, which would also have, you know, a couple other small ones, a Persona 5, a Blue Hedgehog that nobody seems to know. Like what, Sonic? Ah. You kid. <laughs> but anyways, those two will not be mentioned in this video. Number five, Starbreeze Studios. Now this might be the studio that needs Microsoft's help the most, not only due to leadership, but also due to they, they've actually been going through it these last couple of years. They are proud owners of two really good IPs, that being Payday 2 and Dead by Daylight. Now Dead by Daylight is already on Game Pass, so definitely that bolsters up Microsoft's game multiplayer Game Pass. But do keep in mind, here's where it gets a little spotty. A payday three would be great, but also it, this wouldn't cost them a, a billy to actually drop. They are owned also, they have a share or a split share with another company in 505 games, or they have like a uh, part ownership. I don't know exactly. So they might have to shelf a billy to go ahead and grab them. But I think definitely having a payday two and or a payday three would have helped. I think the acquisition of them earlier on when they were doing overkills, Walking Dead would have also been great. It would have probably helped that exponentially due to the fact that leadership and lack of resources were also the problem of that game I know a bunch of other stuff but we're not gonna get into that but definitely at number five Starbreeze Studios makers of Dead by Daylight and Payday 2 game studio number four Clay or Clay Stu Entertainment it all depends on how you guys want to pronounce it it's K-L-E-I Entertainment these dudes get Busy. Like they make phenomenal titles through and through now obviously this is an indie game studio And you know but some people be like why do you have an indie game studio? The reason why is because a lot of indie games get a lot of shine on Game Pass and to actually have one of the better studios under your under your wing under your umbrella yeah that'll just yeah it's just it's a match made in heaven in my opinion so clay entertainment has made awesome games like mark of the ninja hot lava don't Starve. Don't Starve is a phenomenal title. Crypt of the Necromancer and now is, and as of right now, early access, September 24th, 2020, Griftlands, which is a phenomenal game already in early access. It is uh, overwhelmingly positive on Steam. Griftlands, having all of these amazing titles. You can have a Mark of the Ninja 2. You can have a Hot Lava 2. You can you can do a lot of things with with Clay Studios, they, uh, Clay Entertainment. They make a lot of great games. So definitely, if you guys haven't checked their games out, check them out. They also make mobile titles too. They, they port them as well. It's, it's just really, really dope. So Clay Entertainment at number four. Number three, and quite possibly right now, the most independent like it's it's almost mind-blowing to me how great this studio is this if you don't know what i'm talking about it is super giant games the makers of oh they only have four games by the way four games but boy what a four game like when your four games that you've created are all in nines and tens range you are phenomenal they just released hades on 
Apologies. They just released Hades on the Switch. It's gone. It's gone gold. It's already out. They. It's patch 1.0. It's and it's like phenomenal. Like a lot of people love their titles. Bastion, Transistor, Pyre, or Pier, depending on how you pronounce it. And Hades, yo, nines and tens. That's all you see from this. Nines and tens. That is super giant games. They make phenomenal titles. They also point, point uh, port them really well onto the other mobile, onto the mobile platforms, and onto the Switch. And it's just. It's such a no-brainer to get this level of studio because they really are great at what they do. So, Super Giant Games at number three. Number two, Techland. And I only got two words and a number for you. Dying Light 2. Now, do keep in mind, they were linked as well. They said that Techland had po recently posted that Microsoft was interested in acquiring them, or Microsoft put it, it was the other way around. It came out, it leaked, it was a rumor, whatever the case may be, but they were interested, so they know the value of that IP. That will be a really awesome, if they were to make it a exclusive, I don't know how that would go because Dying Light has a lot of fans on both sides of the spectrum, both on PlayStation, I played on PlayStation, and on Xbox, but that is a strong IP. That's a really strong IP. When you have that and you couple with all the other ones that they already had it, Dying Light is a phenomenal title. And what looks to be another great open world parkour RPG, even deeper into the RPG elements, now we have different types of conversations. We have decision making. We have world, like different level scaling. Like it's, it's gonna be great. I have a feeling that Dying Light is gonna be one of those hits that is secretly like just amazing because I feel like people are sleeping on it just completely sleeping on it Techland would be number two and finally the studio that they should go after that should be top priority as of this moment and they are working on an amazing title that's going to be out of this world in my opinion in my opinion Larian Studios makers of Divinity Original Sin 1 and 2 and now Baldur's Gate 3 and boy is Baldur's Gate looking completely phenomenal. Having this in their catalog would mean that hands down Microsoft is RPG king, it's RPG paradise. We're talking about Elder Scrolls, we're talking about The Outer Worlds, we're talking about Fallout, we're talking about Larian Studios with Divinity Original Sin and Baldur's Gate. If you would grab Techland that would be Dying Light 2 as well. Yo, it would be absurd the amount. Wasteland 3, let me not forget about that. I'm still working on it, goddammit. Yo, it would be amazing and it would be RPG heaven for anybody who has Game Pass or an Xbox. Boy, would that be great. Microsoft would be like in prime position to just be completely amazing. But I want to hear what you guys think. Let me know what other studios do you guys think that should be purchased. If it was up to me and they're still shopping, I would get all of them. All five studios and I would also ask Warner Brothers, hey, what's your price? You're getting multiplayer games in this whole entire bunch, including Sega and Persona. You're stealing an exclusive from Persona. Again, I don't think they're trying to do that, but it would be awesome. You're, but you're stealing an exclusive with Yakuza and Persona, two of them. You're getting Mortal Kombat, Nether Realms, and just like Nether Realm Studios, Injustice. That's multiplayer fighting games, which you need on your platform. And then you're getting indies, real deep RPGs, open world games. You're getting everything. If I was them, I would drop probably around 15 billion on this. I think 15, bil 15 billion gets it done to get everything that I just mentioned. But. That is it for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. Let me know. Give me some feedback. Maybe you want, maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. Whatever you're thinking, let me know. Tell me what games. That's what you guys got to do. Get in the comment section. Tell me what game studios you believe that Microsoft should go after. But as always, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And if you're new here and you want to see more content, make sure to subscribe. I know there's like 98% of you guys don't watch it. And finally, if you want to join the family, Patreon's down in the description below, along with all my social media links, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I'm Mike Fury. has been a complete pleasure. Until next time, Mike, off.